Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Hear. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Good evening. teacher. Good evening. Good, evening, teacher. Teacher. Good evening. All right. So we have a few people already connected. About about eight people. Hey, I'm starting to recognize a few a uh, few faces. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Anna. Anna Claudia, how, how are, are you? you? How are you? I thought you were Good. traveling because I saw your your activities. <laughs> oh yes, actually, um, I'm not traveling anymore, but I was traveling, um, and um, I'm I'm not in El Salvador anymore. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why it's such a beautiful pictures, the ones that you passed, my goodness. Oh, wow. yes, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful picture. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, actually, um, I, I, I'm going to tell you something in a moment when everybody c connects. So okay. I'll tell yeah, yeah. Okay, so hello, everybody. Um. Okay, so I see it. many people are connected, but I've, if you could possibly open up your camera, that would be wonderful. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Good evening, Hello. teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Yeah, good to see you once again. Wow, this is wonderful. I'm I'm recognizing some cl <laughs> some faces there. Okay, did you miss I, us? I did actually. Yes. <laughs> It's been a long time. It's, I think, about, wow, like a, almost a year, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. Okay. Yeah, I can see. I, I see. I, oh, yeah. I see some more faces I recognize. Okay. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yes. All right. Um, hello, David. David Samuel. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? Good, good. Thank you. I'm fine. Yeah. I, I, I always use two devices, teacher, one for uh, video and audio and another one for see the presentations. Okay, I, okay. I use a computer, but my computer don't have audio and don't have ah, yes, And I use I my phone. Yes, for the I reason I... I I use two devices. No problem. No problem. That's okay. fine. That Thank is you. perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm still waiting for the others to open up their camera. If you can help me out with that. So we have Mayra. Um, let's see. Um, Fernando. Uh, it's also Jose Osmin, I see. Roxana. Teacher. Yeah. Hello, I will Jose. wrap up the call. I will wrap up the call because I need to type my complete name, my full oh, name. Wonderful. Okay. That would be wonderful. Yes. Yes. Okay. It, thank you, Jose. Yes. Um, I think everybody else. Oh, yeah, I think everybody else has their full name complete. But um, just in case, just remember that you need to have your full name so that the system um, can take your attendance, right? Otherwise, they will it will not register your attendance. It will think that it, you're a different person. Okay. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So if I could, for the rest of you, so oh, hello, Suleyma. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm really fine. Good, good. I I missed those beautiful backgrounds that you always put. <laughs> yeah, I know. You miss it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad you you're... you look very happy. Pardon? You look very happy. I am really happy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very happy. Um, yeah. Um, okay, let me see who else. So we have, oh, uh, we have um, Jar Jarvin Isaac or Harvin, Harvin Isaac. 
Hello. Yes, my name is Harvey. Okay, wonderful. Um, is it possible for you to open up your your um, uh, your camera so we can see you? For today, no. No, you're having problems with the camera. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. So um, as soon as you can solve that problem, that would be wonderful. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And I'm also waiting for the others. Let's see. Um, Jose, Os Jose Osmin, I think also if you can open up your camera and uh, Fernando Ernesto too, if you can also open up your camera. That'd be wonderful. So we can all see each other and we can introduce each other. <laughs> okay. So uh, that'd be wonderful, guys, if you could please help, help me out with the camera. Remember that we do need to have the camera uh, open because that is uh, something that Inciform asks us to do. So that would be wonderful. You can help me with that. Okay. Well, anyways, guys. Um, Let's start the class. Uh, once again, I'm very happy to see many familiar faces and others that are not so familiar, but I'm sure that we soon will be very familiar with each other. Um, okay, so let me um, introduce myself. Um, I, my name is uh, Jessica, Jessica Guerrero. Um, and um, I have been an English teacher for let me think, uh, 17 years. Yeah, I think it is now. So it's been a while. Um, and um, I was living in El Salvador, but I recently moved. I'm no longer in El Salvador. I'm actually living now in Turkey. <laughs> so um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm I'm saying uh, hi from all the way from Turkey. <laughs> um, That's great. Yeah, hey, yeah. Thank you. Hi. Yeah. So um, I recently arrived, and um, I'm really having fun here. The only thing is that it's a little bit cold compared to El Salvador, <laughs> but it's nice. It's very very nice. I like it. Um, and, um, well, let me think, um, my hobbies, I, um, well, I do love to travel. <laughs> That's one thing. I love to travel. Um, and my favorite places are the beach. I really, really love the beaches. Actually, one of the, my favorite things about Turkey are the beaches. I love the beaches in Turkey. And, um, uh, let me think what else I can tell you. Uh, my favorite color is purple. Um, and um, my, let's say my, my favorite hobby is dancing. I love, I love to dance. And um, I love meeting new people. So that's a little bit about me. Yeah. Do you guys have any of the questions that you want to ask me? I know that many of you already know me, but um, you can go ahead and ask any question you guys want. Peter, how about the food? How is it like? The food. Oh, the food in Turkey is wonderful. Spicy? <laughs> um some some food is spicy not all the food but some food is spicy um and um but it's just there's a lot of variety of food a lot of variety mm -hmm. they they like to eat a lot of meats different types of meat mm -hmm. yeah camel, stuff like that camel no, 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 camel. No, but they they like um to eat, you know, beef and chicken and um lamb. They like to eat okay. lamb. Yeah. Okay. But no pork. There's no pork in um in Turkey because um most of the population is Muslim. And uh for Muslims, uh, pork is not something that they eat um, so it's very difficult to find pork in turkey but most other yeah so those are mostly the 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 the, the meats that they eat beef um, lamb and chicken wow and the yeah. time so teacher right now is what time 
It's right now. In it's five in the morning. Oh, so you will be getting <laughs> waking up to yeah. early. Yeah, well, you know, I I I used to wake up very early when I was in El Salvador because I used to have classes at six in the morning. Um, so it's not that big of a deal, you know. I it's it's a, it's the same. It's like getting up in El Salvador at five in the morning. Not a big deal. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you have any other questions you want to ask me? Is your oh, first you. time what that kind of culture? Um, I actually had been in Turkey last year. I came to Turkey. Um, so I was a little, I'm a little familiar with the culture. I've been doing a lot of investigation be, because this is uh, something that I've been planning for a long time. So it, I, I'm a little bit familiar with the culture, but of course, it's the first time that I've been living in a, in a country like this. So it's, it's an, it's a new experience for me, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions that you guys want to ask? What's the reason you left for work? Or? No, I actually, I chose to live in Turkey. I wanted to live in Turkey. I, I loved, I, I fell in love with Turkey. Um, and I decided, hey, let's, let's do it. Let's move. <laughs> yeah really, and because really, you're really yeah, brave <laughs> yeah that's what people say um but um yeah and 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 the thing is that because of my job it's easy for me to be able to work from anywhere in the world um so I said let's take advantage of that and so here we are trying trying out um you know to see how the culture is yeah yeah so we'll we'll see we'll have to see if, if this works out or not but but you know it's it's what i i really like <laughs> yeah do you guys have more questions you want to ask me well i was in turkey i guess three or four years ago and i remember mm -hmm that they are uh, so rude with the cultures, you know, with the, um, I don't know, no recuerdo la religión, but I religion. remember that, yeah, the, the religion, uh, because uh, I remember that uh, some hours or in the day, they uh, hear a little um, music and they need to start to, uh, pray mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. something like that do you have any problem with with something like that no um yes the the, the country is predominantly muslim so um it, the majority of the people here are muslim but there is freedom of religion so you can you can practice any religion you want right um and um yeah there's no problem with that now there is uh five times a day there is a call to prayer uh, so they um you hear the the um the mosques they have like this um uh, they, they start praying and they have like a song, let's say, um, and they say they have five times a day. So the first one is like right before the the sun comes up, the sunrise. Um, and right now the sun is coming up around um, eight o'clock, something like that. So the first call to prayer is around seven in the morning. Okay, and then they have it during the day, they change, apparently they change it during, like, depending on the days, and then um, they, uh, they have it one after the sunset. So right now the sunset is around six, 615 or something like that. So I think the last call to prayer is like around eight, something like that, 730 or eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, 
but uh, um, call it, going back to your question, no, there's no problem with um, with religion because, like I said, it's a it's a um, it's a it's a country that has freedom of religion, so they don't um, it's they don't um, impose a religion on you. They don't the the government is separate from the uh, it's separate from the religion, so it's it's different. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. I remember that when I was visiting, uh, I, I was in a restaurant and the people um, let, uh, yeah, this or yeah, interrupt their activities and they have a little space to start to pray. And if the restaurant has a, a, a lot of um, clients, or customer, they need to wait for the service because the waiters uh, were uh, praying in that time. I, I imagine that uh, in the restaurant, um, maybe all the waiters were uh, Muslims, I guess, no? Muslim, Muslim. Muslim, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the other uh, day, I remember that I was visiting another restaurant, mm -hmm. but some waiters uh, uh, interrupt their activities and start to uh, pray, but the others was attend were attending of the rest of the client. Maybe they are not in the same religion. Yeah, there's... Um, okay, the thing about Turkey is that a, they are many people are Muslim the majority are Muslim but not all of them are very religious a, so it's like some of them are just like Muslim <laughs> if, if that makes sense um, so it's like they they don't practice it so much you know it's mm -hmm. like um, yeah so they um it could be like they they say they're Muslim, but they're not so religious, so they're not going to prayer all the time. Also, it depends on what part of Turkey. What what part of Turkey were you visiting, Roxana? Well, I was in Istanbul, mm -hmm. and around the Bos Bosphorus. Bosphorus, yeah. And I don't remember the little Iceland with the towel. I don't remember the name. Uh, okay, so so you were in Istanbul. Yes. Oh, okay. That's strange. Yeah, because it, I'm in Istanbul right now, um, but um, I, I honestly have never seen that. Um, that situation that you mentioned with the, the restaurants, maybe back in that, maybe back, it, how long ago did you say that you that you came? I guess four or five years ago. Maybe things were a little different mm. then. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, because i am honestly never seen that before. Um, that... I mean, there is call to prayer and everything, but that everything stops. No, unless did you visit during the the during the month of Ramadan? Do you remember hearing Maybe, of Ramadan? Mm, because there's a, I'm not sure. Uh, I I guess that I it was visiting in April mm -hmm. or May. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, uh, March, April is uh, the it, de it depends like on uh, the year but between march and april they have they call it the month of ramadan and oh, okay. Ra ramadan is a a month like a holy month and uh they do a special um activity and yes it's very it's holy for them and yeah that 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 wouldn't make sense if it was in that those months yeah it's very possible that that would have happened yeah yeah so but you know it, it changes it's not always like that yeah. mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. All right. So I, I see more that are connected. Um, hello, Dora Flores. Hello, teacher. Hello, um, Dora, uh, you know, um, I see that your name is not complete. Is it possible for you to change it? Uh, make sure because I, I, I need, we need to have your full name to be able to register in the, okay. in the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, I see Marco Ayala also is having that problem. Is that, uh, can you possibly change your name there? Okay, for okay. the complete Yes, complete name. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Dora. Wonderful. Okay. And actually, um, yeah, okay. So uh I don't know if you have any more questions that you guys want to ask me. Of course, you can always ask me during later during you know the class, but but anything you want to ask right now? No, teacher, it's good to know that now you are a actress for the Turkish novels. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that, that will, will, will be my work. Be a good option. You, <laughs> you stole him. Yeah, I, maybe. Who knows? I, <laughs> Maybe one day you will see me in in one of those uh, soap operas that they. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Okay. All right. Um, any other questions, guys? No? I have a question. Yeah, yeah, ask me. Go ahead, Fernando. What about the name of the country? I heard about it was changing recently because it was com uh, complicated because yeah. you know, the animals. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, the thing is that in English, Turkey is an animal, right? So, um, yeah, so recently um, the, the country has been named Turkey. Or, yeah, so, um, well, in, that's how you say in Turkish, Turkey, but in English, it would be more like Turkey, Turkey. Yeah, so, um, but, you know, people do understand still Turkey, right? But, but yes, yeah, so officially, it's named Turkey. Mm -hmm. Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Yeah. Turkey. Okay. That's right. Um, which is really funny, I find, because um, it's a very curious uh, fact is that, you know, in in English, uh, the, the, the country Turkey is also an animal, but the animal Turkey in the language Turkish is actually called Hindi, which is the name for India in, in Turkish. <laughs> So that's crazy. <laughs> it's very crazy. You know, yeah. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. In, in their language, how pronounce the name of the country? Turkey. Turkey. Oh. Turkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know one word in Turkey. Yeah, there you go. Actually, you know what? There are lots of words in Turkish that are very similar to Spanish. For example, tropical in, 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 in Turkish is tropical. So it's the same, right? They just spell it different because the letter C in Turkish is pronounced different. So instead of saying tropical with a C, they spell it with a K. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. But but it's the same. It's the same word. So, you know, there's there's lots of words that are the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you guys ever want to travel and come see me, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of paying Airbnb, hey teacher. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Why not? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you guys have any more questions you want to ask before we continue? Like I said, you can always ask questions later, but you want no, to ask questions. Okay. No more questions? What okay. is that you miss the most? Well, right, right now, the only thing I'm missing is the heat. <laughs> it's cold here. 
it's cold and it, it's it's not so much that it's so cold because um well, I, I think, um, you, Anna Clara, you probably saw that um, I was in Canada a few yeah, days ago. Yeah, I was ago. about to mention that. Yeah, it was super cold in Canada. But um, it, the difference between uh, Canada and Turkey is that the houses in, Tur in, in Canada are different. They are built to withstand the 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 cold so they're airtight you cannot feel anything when you're inside of the house you don't feel anything you feel like like you put on the heat and it feels like you are in El Salvador you know it, it doesn't feel bad but in Turkey many of the of the buildings in Turkey are like old buildings and so the the the, the the coldness comes in it's uh like it's very easily so right now so even if you're inside you you still feel that it's cold that they use that's a lot of adobe right adobe adobe i don't know if that is the pronunciation of that material yeah i don't know if they i don't honestly know that the material that they use here i i don't know um but probably Probably. I don't know. I, I really don't know. But the thing is that it's mostly because they're old buildings. Mm -hmm. um, the new buildings, um, they're different, right? But but in the old buildings, um, it's it's different. Um, in the old buildings, it's like, um, how can I say it? Um, in the old buildings, it's like, um, yeah, it basically, it, it, it's they're not built in the same way right so obviously the like through the windows you can always they come the the the, the coldness comes in so you know yeah so it's it's a little different yeah that's why i have to wear a shawl right now i'm wearing a shawl <laughs> because it's it's not it's it's not that 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 hot right now yeah mm -hmm. yeah all right, any other questions? No? Okay. All right, so guys, if you can really help me out with your cameras, um, because I still see many cameras off, I would really appreciate that. So we can, actually right now, I'm gonna be taking attendance. So if you can, can help me with that, that'd be wonderful, okay. All right, so let's start with the attendance right now. Um, okay, so, all right, so we have, as always, the first one. <laughs> My God, nobody was at the beginning. <laughs> Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay, good. Excellent. The one and only. <laughs> oh, no, the, I remember there was... There were there was uh, yes. another one before me in one course. Mm -hmm. I think. There was another Anna Claudia, right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. another Anna. I don't remember Anna something. No, yeah. Anna Claudia. Yes, me Anna something. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's maybe something else. Yeah, but I think she was. She might have. Been she was. The first. The, she was the first one. So I had like a one minute within. In, if I was connecting later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, I cannot do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay, David Samuel Caldames. Okay, uh, can you turn on, is it possible for you to turn on the, it's not, oh, hold on, wait a second, my, okay, you having problems? Uh, sorry, David, I can't. Not, I can see your 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 hands that are moving, but I can't. Okay. Okay. Can you open the other device, David? Yes. Yes. Oh, there Sorry, you are. I, okay. Yes, I, I I have two devices. Uh, in one of them uh, is the reason they're only my picture, but in the okay. other I have. Open. That's fine. No, no, it's yeah. fine. It's just I couldn't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So we have that. 
Do you prefer David or someone? David is okay. David, yes. okay, wonderful, okay. Dora Elizabeth? Present. Okay, wonderful. Um, do you prefer Dora or Elizabeth? Doris. Oh, Doris, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Fernando, Fernando Ernesto? Uh, present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Fernando, you said uh, you're also, uh, do you have also problems? You said you had problems with the camera, right? Uh, I don't have problem with the camera, but I am a little sick and it's, it's difficult for me to put the camera right now, so. Oh, okay, I see, okay. All right, so, um, uh, okay, so maybe maybe when you, later on, when you feel better, you can, you can um, turn on the camera. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Okay, uh, Fernando Marvin. Present. Okay, wonderful. Do you prefer Fernando or Marvin? Fernando. Fernando's good? Yes, okay. Good. Wonderful. Okay, Fernando. Okay, Francisco Eduardo. Francisco. Okay, wonderful. Um, and uh, Francisco, were you the one who was having the problems with the camera? Uh, no, teacher. No. Okay. Give me, give me, give me a, a moment. I uh, set my my camera. Okay. All right. That's fine. All right. Um, Haiti. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful. Iliana. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, Harvey and Isaac. Present teacher. Okay. Wonderful. Um, do you prefer Harvin or sorry, is it Jarvin or Harvin? It's Harvin. Harvin, okay. And yes. do you prefer Harvin or Isaac? Both are, are okay for me. Okay, okay, good. All right, so we'll say Harvin. It's easier okay. the first name. <laughs> okay. Um, Jose Marcos? Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Uh, okay, wonderful. Do you prefer Jose, Marcos? What do you prefer? Marcos. Marcos, okay, wonderful. Okay, um, Jose Osmin, uh, Rivas Navas. Present. Uh, where's the map? See if I can, I can't see you. <laughs> I don't know why. Jose Osmin, Jose Osmin. Ah, okay. Yeah, I yeah. see. I see why. I yeah. Okay. To the bikers too. Sorry. Okay. Ah, okay. Wonderful. Yeah, I see. Now I see. Yeah, so in the other device, you just have the first name and the last name. That's why. Yes. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. All right. Well, wonderful. And we have um, Juan Miguel. Oh, sorry. Yes, Juan Miguel. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, Juan Miguel. Not here, Juan Miguel. No, not here. Okay. All right. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. No, not here either, okay. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. No? Okay. All right. Roxana Yvette. Roxana. Okay. Do you, do you prefer Roxana or Yvette? Roxana. Roxana, okay. And William Alexander? William Alexander, no. Okay. Um, Suleyma Yvonne? Present. Okay, wonderful. All right, so I have everybody. Okay, great. 
Okay, guys, um, so um, this is our first class. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by reviewing. Um, I know that you guys already know um, know the, the, the drill and everything, but let's, um, let's remember, okay? Let's remember, um, just give me one second while I... And I've lost it somewhere around here. <laughs> okay, just give me a second, guys. Okay. Okay, let's see. All right, so tell me guys if you can see my PowerPoint. Yeah, can you see her now? Okay. Yes, we can yes. see her. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so this is the um, English for Work program. It's the advanced module four, and uh, your teacher is Ms. Jessica Guerrero, and it's February 1st, 2023. Okay, that's so weird to say 2023. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so uh, first of all, let's talk about things that you guys already know. Um, this part is in, in, in Spanish, so I'll read it in Spanish. So, um, oops, okay. So um, just something to remember is that, oh my goodness, hold on. There you go. Okay, so the so, some things to remember is that we have es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. So, eh, entonces eso significa de que um, necesitamos eh, el 80% en las plataformas, lo cual realmente ustedes ya como han estado trabajando mucho con la plataforma, sabrán de que no es difícil obtener ese promedio, ¿verdad? Es más, eh, algunos de ustedes, yo sé que um, les gusta trabajar en la plataforma desde el, el inicio y ustedes saben que pueden hacerlo desde el primer día de clase. Si ustedes quieren completar la, prim la primera unidad, lo pueden hacer. Y lo bueno de la, la plataforma es de que aunque ustedes se equivoquen, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes pueden volver a hacerlo y no les resta puntos, ¿verdad? O sea, si digamos usted se equivocó en los ejercicios y solo obtuvo un 50%, eh, porque quizás no vio la clase todavía, no ha visto la clase todavía, y después luego lo intenta y obtiene un 100%, la nota le queda al 100%, no 50, ¿verdad? Ni 75, sino que cabal al 100. Entonces no es tan difícil, pero sí es necesario que ustedes obtengan por lo menos un 80%, ¿verdad? También las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. También, eh, si no me equivoco, creo que todos ustedes ya trabajaron con la plataforma. Entonces sabrán, ¿verdad? De que ustedes tienen que um, hacer los ejercicios después de... de um, los, los ejercicios que quedan después de, de cada, cada clase, ¿verdad? Uh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado ahí se forme semanalmente. Aquí dice cada viernes porque normalmente empezamos los lunes, ¿verdad? Pero esta vez como empezamos miércoles, entonces ese, 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 ese ese día se va a cambiar. Si ya, ya no sería viernes, sino que martes. Porque um, 
eh, sería cabal, los, los martes eh, se cumpliría una semana completa, ¿verdad? Porque empezamos un, un miércoles y entonces terminamos la semana en martes. Así es de que por lo general eso se mantiene que es el viernes porque empezamos lunes, pero en nuestro caso eh, para este módulo sería los martes. Por la por lo que lo siguiente es correcto. Dice, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio o el midterm es el martes 21 de febrero, ¿verdad? Porque como les digo, el martes se cumple una semana completa. Y puesto que tenemos cinco semanas y no cuatro, entonces significa que tienen ustedes tres semanas para completar la primera parte, ¿verdad? Eh, y, um, y el midterm. Y luego la fecha límite para terminar el examen final o el final exam es el día martes 7 de febrero antes de la medianoche. Y, y quiero enfatizar esa parte de antes de la medianoche porque eh, si no vamos a tener problemas porque yo eh, tengo que... Ah, dice, sorry, sorry, mm -hmm. I think there is a mistake. I think it's a marzo. Ah, yes. Marzo. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for telling. Thank you for noticing. Sorry, it's, yes, you're right. Um, es el martes 7 de marzo. Tienen toda la razón. Lo voy, a, lo voy a tachar acá y lo voy a poner así. Eso, eso. Ok. Gracias. Gracias por notarlo. Ok. Entonces, ahí estamos. El martes 7 de marzo. Ok. Antes de la medianoche. Y eh, es, como les digo, eso es importante porque um, yo tengo que mandar el reporte final precisamente el miércoles. ¿Verdad? El, el, a, a primera hora. Entonces, eh, por eso es importante que ustedes terminen el martes 7 de marzo antes de la medianoche. ¿Ok? Y luego el manual puede ser descargado desde la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya saben. Eh, y no se utiliza a material de terceros en ninguna sesión, ¿verdad? Porque así de que no vamos a estar utilizando cosas de YouTube o cosas así, ¿verdad? Porque eh, no, no es permitido, ¿ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan? No. No, teacher. No, oh, bye now. Thank you. Ok, muy bien. Excelente. Continuamos entonces. Eh, ok, entonces um, los requerimientos. Eh, nombres completos al conectarse a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Como les he estado mencionando, por favor, el nombre exactamente como aparece en el DUI para que no tengamos problemas. Acuérdense que también cómo se registra la, la cantidad de minutos que ustedes se conectan, no solamente de que se conecten cada día, sino que cuántos minutos se conectaron en el día, en cada clase. Entonces, si usted no pone su nombre completo, va a ser difícil porque no se le va a registrar ese, eh, su, su asistencia. Entonces, eh, les sugiero que desde el principio, desde el se, ustedes se conectan, asegúrense que su nombre vaya completo um, antes de conectarse y entonces ya cuando se conectan ya les aparece el nombre completo. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Aclaro esto que oyente no significa de que usted no pueda participar en la clase en ese día. Eh, porque a veces hay ese, ese malentendido de que eh, cuando dice, dicho yo estoy de, yo estoy de oyente, significa de que yo ahorita no puedo participar en clase. No, eso no es oyente. Oyente es aquella persona que por X o Y motivo no pudo inscribirse en el curso oficialmente. Entonces, eh, o sea, no está en el registro oficial de INSAFOR, pero nosotros como, um, como eh, institución los um, agregamos y por supuesto con, con, um, eh, con permiso de INSAFOR los agregamos al curso para que en el próximo módulo 
ustedes ya puedan aparecer como parte del módulo, ¿verdad? Ya, ya en los registros oficiales. Pero, eh, pero no significa de que ustedes no van a participar, ¿verdad? Entonces, es más, creo, si no me equivoco, no hay nadie que esté de oyente. Eh, oficialmente en este curso, así que nadie debería estar poniendo la palabra oyente. Y nuevo, nuevamente esta, palabra, esta parte cita es muy importante, cámara sensibilidad durante toda la sesión por eh, petición de INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Es, eh, es INSAFOR que nos pide que, que les pidamos eso, ¿verdad? Que tienen tengan su cámara encendida y es también por, por llevar un, un control, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdense que ese es un, una beca prácticamente, entonces ellos hacen auditoría y quieren saber si realmente usted está presente. Eh, primeramente, si es que no solamente se conectó y, y saber qué le pasó con usted y también quieren asegurarse que en realidad sea usted, ¿verdad? Que no sea otra persona que esté eh, conectada. Ahora, eh, minimizar, en mi, minimizar el sonido ambiental eh, lo más lo más que se pueda, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si ustedes se pueden conectar en un, um, en un lugar de su casa donde no, no haya mucho ruido, sería excelente. Eh, de lo contrario, pues pueden tener uh, sus, um, sus eh, micrófonos apagados, ¿verdad? Ustedes saben que pueden hacer eso, apagar el micrófono eh, y pues solo encenderlo en el momento que lo vayan a utilizar. Y esto también es muy importante, participación activa. A veces por qué motivo no podemos participar, ¿verdad? Eso sucede y, es, y yo entiendo perfectamente, pero eh, eso puede ser una o dos veces, ¿verdad? Pero no es que siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces, por lo general, sí queremos tener una participación activa de su parte. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? Ok, muy bien. Ok, sigamos entonces. Ok, próxima. Es, es asistencia al 100% de las clases. Muy importante. Eh, tratemos de conectarnos desde el principio de la clase hasta el final. De esa forma podemos tener um, mejor eh, posibilidades de tener la, la asistencia al 100%, o si no, eh, si por X motivo usted no puede conectarse al 100%, porque sé que a veces, por ejemplo, en su trabajo le piden de que usted se quede a trabajar y no puede conectarse, o está enfermo, ¿verdad? Está hospitalizado, obviamente no se va a conectar. Entonces, um, si ese es el caso, eh, bueno, pero por lo menos... Si usted se ha estado conectando um, desde el principio hasta el final de la clase, no debería de, de, de haber mucho problema, ¿verdad? Porque usted tendrá la mayor parte de las clases, sea el, casi el 100%, ¿verdad? Eh, pero sí es muy importante que cumplamos con la asistencia porque si no cumplimos con la asistencia, lastimosamente no podemos eh, pasarlo al próximo módulo, si usted no cumple con una cierta cantidad de, 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 de porcentaje, ¿verdad?, de asistencia. También cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase generadas, genera, genera asistencia afectiva por cada sesión. Lo que les he estado explicando, ¿verdad?, 120 minutos significa que tiene que desconectarse justo a la hora y desconectarse justo también a la hora. ¿verdad? O sea, que no es que solo se va a conectar a la hora de que es, pasamos asistencia. Tiene que ser siempre, ¿verdad? Y hablando de asistencia, um, la asistencia se toma en dos ocasiones, mínimo 8 y 20 y 9 y 40, más o menos, ¿verdad? Eh, obviamente, no, eso no es como así como ley, ¿verdad? Que 8 y 20, ¿verdad? O 9 y 40 exacto, ¿verdad? Puede ser un poquito antes, puede ser un poquito después, ¿verdad? Pero más o menos como es ahora, vamos a estar tomando la asistencia eh, para asegurarnos de que estén ahí, pero eso no significa que solo van a estar en clase durante esas horas, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, y eh, se tomará como válida escuchar al participante, participante decir, 
present o presente y tener cámara encendida. Entonces, um, eh, como les vuelvo a decir, muy importante, queremos escuchar su voz, no solamente eh, verlo, necesita abrir su, su micrófono, decir presente o present y tener su cámara encendida. Por eso les, les, um, eh, les, les um, nuevamente les uh, hago énfasis en eso, que su cámara debe estar encendida. Y la sesión uno a uno están disponibles, ¿verdad? Siempre cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Y vamos a ir en orden de, uh, de asistencia, ¿verdad? Entonces, el primera persona que aparece, pues creo que ya sabe quién es. <risa> ¿Verdad? Entonces, um, y luego si por ejemplo esa persona, si la, pro digamos vaya, el día de hoy Ana Claudia está presente, excelente, pero si el día de mañana eh, la, la próxima persona que, que aparece en la lista no está en clase, podemos continuar con la siguiente o si no, si usted prefiere, dice, mire teacher, fíjese que el día que a mí, a mí me toca, no voy a poder quedarme en clase, así que eh, podemos adelantarlo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, pero usted dígame con anticipación, ¿verdad? Eh, y los permisos no están disponibles. En otras palabras, yo no tengo la autorización para decirle, sí, no se preocupe, usted puede faltar a clase. Eh, claro está de que usted me puede informar y le puede decir, teacher, mire, tengo, he tenido este problema, no voy a poder co conectarme por esa razón y yo po pondré una notita ahí de que usted eh, no se ha podido conectar por esa razón, pero no puedo yo decirles, mire, no, no se preocupe, usted no, no necesita participar, no, no se puede tomar su día, porque no tengo esa autorización de INSAPOR, si solamente INSAPOR puede darse permiso, ¿ok? Entonces, um, no sé si hay alguna inquietud acerca de eso. ¿No? No, sí. Ok, ok, muy bien. Continuamos. Ok, en cuanto a Zoom, tenemos el botón de silencio, ¿verdad? Que debe estar encendido en todo momento, al menos que usted vaya a participar. Pero de lo contrario, le pedimos que mantenga en silencio para que no tengamos interrupciones en la clase. La cámara está... Eh, el botón, ¿verdad? En la misma, eh, en la misma barra donde dice silencio. Y tenemos el chat, ¿verdad? Donde podemos nosotros escribir palabras que tenemos dudas, ¿verdad? O, o cualquier cosa, podemos, alguna pregunta que quieran hacer, me lo podemos poner en el chat. También vamos a estar haciendo breakout rooms. Creo que todos ustedes han trabajado con breakout rooms, pero por si acaso no lo han hecho. Y los breakout rooms son como, digamos, como que fueran cuartos virtuales donde mando a, a ya sea los grupos o parejas para que trabajen eh, en cierta en cierta actividad y después regresamos al, todos a la misma sesión para poder compartir, ¿verdad? Y, ah, eh, y dentro del breakout room se encuentra el botón Ask for Help. Eh, o eh, si usted lo tiene el Zoom en español, dice pedir ayuda, creo, algo así. Entonces eso es para que si usted por X motivo usted necesita que yo le ayude, usted aprieta ese botón. Y a mí me aparece una notificación y me puedo yo unir a su grupo para poder ayudarles en cualquier cosa que ustedes tengan dudas. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es muy importante porque he encontrado que muchos alumnos eh, llego yo a, a, a la sesión, a, al breakout room porque yo visito los breakout rooms y entonces de repente me dicen, teacher, eh, ¿qué, ¿qué teníamos que hacer? <risa> entonces, pero ya pasó como 20 minutos. <risa> entonces, eh, por eso es importante que, que pongan el, 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 que aprieten ese botón de Ask for Help. Si en caso ustedes tienen alguna duda, con gusto yo les ayudo. Pero la única forma de ayudarles es si ustedes piden ayuda, ¿verdad? De lo contrario, no sabré que, que necesitan esa ayuda. Y 
respeto ante todo, respeto hacia sus compañeros, respeto hacia su, a, hacia su profesor o profesora, ¿verdad? Y, pues, y por supuesto respeto hacia sí mismo, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, eso es muy importante, ¿verdad? Que todos nos respetemos eh, para que nos llevemos bien y, y podamos fomentar esa armonía en la clase. ¿Pregunta sobre eso? ¿No? ¿Seguros? No, teacher. Ok. Ok, bueno. Entonces, eh, um, perdón, estas, uh, no, estas están equivocadas. Le voy a dar las, estas se ha, ha movido ahí las fechas. Um, le voy a dar las fechas dentro de un momentito. Ok, va, entonces um, tenemos, acuérdense que tenemos cinco semanas. ¿Verdad? Entonces, ustedes tienen eh, para poder entregar la, son cuatro unidades, ¿verdad? Entonces, para poder entregar la primera unidad, eh, el, ustedes tienen hasta, van a tener hasta la, quiero ver, un momentito, subiendo el calendario, van a tener para entrar a la primera unidad van a tener hasta el día 14 de febrero, martes 14 de febrero, eh, para entrar a la primera unidad. Eh, un momentito. No, perdón. Me equivoqué con eso. El 7 de, fe, de febrero tienen para entregar la primera unidad. Ahora, luego, um, ustedes van a poder entregar la mitad de la segunda unidad para el 14 de febrero. ¿Okay? Entonces, no tienen que hacer toda la unidad 2, pero sí tienen que hacer la mitad de la unidad 2 para el 14 de febrero. Ya para el 21 de febrero se espera que ustedes hayan terminado la segunda unidad y que haga, hayan hecho también el midterm. Pero como les decía anteriormente, ustedes pueden empezar a trabajar en eso desde ahí. Ya. No tienen que esperar esas fechas. Para poder, para poder completarlo. Usted si quiere hacer el midterm y terminarlo desde el día de hoy, lo puede hacer. No hay ningún inconveniente. Entonces, eh, les repito, la, prox la unidad 1 se va a entregar el próximo martes. ¿Okay? El, la unidad completa. Luego, el 14 de febrero, se va a completar la mitad de la unidad 2. No significa que usted no pueda o sea, completarla toda, pero por lo menos la mitad necesito que haya terminado para el 14. Para el 21, entonces necesito que habrá terminado toda la unidad 2 y el midterm. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre eso? Okay. Okay. Muy bien. Ahora, ya entonces para la fecha 28 de febrero, que es el último día de febrero, tiene que haber hecho la unidad 3. Okay. Y ya para el 7 de marzo, que es el último día de clase, tendrán que haber terminado la unidad 4 y el final examen. Ok, se lo repito. El día 7 de febrero se entrega unidad 1. El 14 de febrero se entrega la mitad de la unidad 2. El 21 de febrero se entrega toda la unidad 2. Y 
el midterm. El 28 de febrero se, termina, se entrega la unidad 3. Y para el 7 de marzo se entrega la unidad 4 y el examen final. Se espera que ya para la unidad, para el día 7 ya tengan todito terminado. Porque ya para el 8 de, de, de marzo debo yo entregar notas finales. Es que no tenemos tiempo para estar esperando que terminen las otras unidades. ¿Pregunta? ¿Seguro? ¿Sí? ¿Todo está claro? Ok, muy bien. Excelente. Si ustedes tienen algún atraso con las, las unidades, por favor, déjenmelo saber. Eh, lo más antes posible para que yo les pueda ayudar. Eh, a veces, ah, otra cosa, si ustedes encuentran algún problema con la plataforma, por favor déjenmelo saber eh, para que podamos ahí eh, arreglar la situación, ¿verdad? Y hacer algún un ajuste en la plataforma. Ahora, si ustedes tienen problemas técnicos, para poder ingresar, eh, pueden escribir el en el grupo, ¿verdad? Pero ya cosas de la plataforma me lo dicen directamente a mí y yo puedo informar. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta, inquietud sobre eso? No, teacher, todo bien. Ok. Muy bien. Ok. Entonces, eh, pregunta, ¿todos ustedes han podido descargar el manual? Sí, teacher. Bueno, yo sí. Sí, yes, okay. teacher. Ok, excelente. Ok, si no lo han hecho todavía, ustedes pueden ingresar al, al, a, ¿verdad? al, al a la plataforma y puede descargarlo de ahí. Um, hablando de la plataforma, ¿Todos han revisado si tienen acceso a la plataforma? Yes. ¿Sos, sos el, el, no, todavía no. No, but I will. Sí, teacher. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, bye. I will ask you to please check um, latest tonight that you have access so that tomorrow, if there is any problems, you tell me and we can help you out because I don't want you to be um, like Monday, you know, telling me, teacher, I have problems with the platform because then Monday you're going to be rushing to 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 complete the unit one. So I, I want you guys to tell me tomorrow maximum, you know, if you have any problems so that we can help you out. Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions that you want to ask about? No? Okay. All right. Wonderful. Okay. So if that's, if there's no questions, then we'll start right away. Um, okay. All right, so we're going to start by um, discussing some questions. So I want you to tell me if you are able to see my questions. Just give me a moment. Do you see that? Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay, so these are some questions that we're going to be discussing right now. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the first one. Have you ever heard of the term ICT before? Oh, teacher. 
Anybody has heard of that term before? Anybody in the class? No? It's I did. something like um, information, communications, and technology, maybe? Very good. Okay, yes, that is absolutely right. Yes. Um, yeah, it, it has it's precisely that it, ICT is, the, is an abbreviation for information and communication technology. Okay, so I, but abbreviation is ICT. Remember that in English, we love to, to shorten things, right? So that we can make it easier. Okay, but do you think, so do you think ICT describes the technological, technological devices necessary at the workplace? What is ICT stands for? I'm sorry, could you please repeat again? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Of course. You know what? I'll, I'll write it in the chat. It's easier if you, I write it in the chat. It's called information and communication. Communi communications technology. Okay. That's thank what you. ICT stands for. Okay. Thank you. Okay information and communications technology okay so that's that's what it stands for but we're not just talking about what it stands for we're going to be talking about what the meaning is like what does it actually mean so do you think ICT describes the technological devices necessary at the workplace of course teacher yeah the first thing is uh, maybe to be communicate with the uh, with the coworkers. Maybe that they are not in in the same in the same place. So that's why it's really important. And also because uh, sometimes you need to share maybe some information, and with the technology, you will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, very good. You're right, Jose. Any any other ideas? What do you think? What what comes to your mind when you see when you hear that word ICT or information and communication technology? What does that mean to you? What comes to your head? I see everything we need information. We need all of it. We need to get informed about whatever is happening around the world base. And uh, all of us, I think, use the devices, the electronic devices, technological devices, computer, cell phone, or tablets, or whatever we have. And information and communication is uh, all of what's happening. Right. Okay. That is important. I think, I think yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Excellent. All right. What if what about the rest of you? What what does that mean to you? Information and communications technology. What comes to your head? I agree with Jose that uh, are all the gadgets and tools we have. For example, in my case, uh, we have uh, meetings, uh, Google Meets we use to uh, be in a meeting with our boss and right. the team, but also they provided us with, um, with a dash cam. So in that way, they know if we are a uh, doing well or we are not eating in front of the computer stuff like that or uh, having a conversation with the cell phone and the working hours and on their ends is for security purposes and for us too but that makes us to have like uh, mm, i will say not a worthy communication is like different signals let's say it on that way because they it's, they know what we are doing and also 
we have the ability to communicate in a faster way with our clients, with our customers, but also with our boss, the general mm -hmm. manager. So do you think that that enables the communication or do you think that that, uh, that makes a barrier with the communication in your, in your case? No, in my case, enable the communication. It make me to um, do my job on a daily basis the same as if I was at the office at the same right. time. Right, mm -hmm. because you work from home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, Anatol, did you did you say that? At, do you ever go to the office, um, or do you? Or do you no, always stay at home? home. You, I will stay home, but I guess this month uh, I will have to go like three or four days because the client comes from US to visit us. Uh, <gasps> but it's not sure. I don't know if it would be next month, but I will have to go. <laughs> yeah. Jose, I will see you there. <laughs> oh, I stay at home. I, really? <laughs> I'm continuing. Yep. I don't have any place. To be outside. Oh, you don't have you don't have to go to the office, or say. No. No. I'm still working at home. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Working from home has its its advantages, but also disadvantages. There's there's both, you know. So yeah, uh, you're right. Okay. Um, all right. What about, um, let me see, um, Ileana, what do you think? When you would hear the word information and communications technology, what comes to your mind? Maybe that is related to the IT, for example, okay. with the ITs of the, the companies. Right. Uh, maybe IT is like general and I think I don't know that ICT could be something more specific okay maybe that comes to my mind when I heard that okay good all right very good yeah um okay can you mention three specific ways in which you can make use of technology to develop your duties at work every day so think about you personally your your job what three ways do you use technology? Hmm? What was the question? What was the question? Okay. And the question is, can you mention three specific ways um, in which you make use of technology to develop your duties at work every day. So, um, like you specifically, how do you, you use technology that can help you to, to do your job? Okay, I am a, a, a teacher and I use a smart TV and a computer mm -hmm. to give some presentations, to give some PowerPoint or another kind of picture of uh, videos or something like that. And uh, we are uh, connected with uh, all the teachers and coordinators with the uh, yeah. WhatsApp group. And we stay connected that way. And uh, all of the students have a, a device, an electronic device, and they have the books in this electronic device. And they are uh, using it uh, all the time. Uh, these books, these devices, tablets, or computers, or something like that. Mm -hmm. There are uh, three ways that we are using technology in our focus. Okay. So they have digital books? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Do they have digital books or physical books? Uh, both of them. Some of them are uh, the electronic books. Yeah. Some of them are the physical books, yes. Oh. And a half, no. But, but oh. In this way, he, they use the back, backpacks, not as are too heavy. Right. They, yeah. They, yes. Yeah. I actually, I that you now that you mentioned that, I remember so clearly when I was um, studying, I used to 
have like um such a heavy backpack and it would it would well actually I didn't wear a, a backpack I would I would wear this like big bag so my shoulder I was like like this <laughs> you know it was, it was like and it would hurt a lot so yeah definitely that has made life a lot easier for our students right not to be carrying so many heavy books yeah absolutely okay very good how about let me see um Jose Marcos in your case how what are the three specific ways that you three specific methods, let's say, that you use um, technology in, um, at work? Uh, first, uh, I need to connect into a virtual machine to start working in another uh, virtual environment. This is the first way I need to okay. to another uh, um, server. And okay. second, um, um, we use Zoom also to communicate with our Mates and oh. made, um, uh, okay. uh, video meetings and talk about uh, problems and troubleshooting. Um, um, yeah. And also, we have to send emails uh, in software called Thunderbird. And so, that's the three way I use um, okay. uh, technologies in my, in my job. Um, because I also work from home. Oh, really? How interesting. Okay, so we have lots of people working from home. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Okay, what about you, Roxana? What can you tell me about ways that you have to use the technology? Well, um, currently I'm working from home. So oh. uh, like Marcos, I need to uh, connect to uh, my, I need to connect uh, my session with a remote desk. Mm -hmm. And mm, maybe the other way is when I need to register some, uh, some actions in the ERP, uh, like Oracle or uh, GP Dynamic, Dynamic, and emails. Also. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, good. Um, okay. Now my next question is have you attended any training to update update your IT skills? Anybody has attended any training recently? Yeah, well, uh, I'm working mm -hmm. in my in my current job for uh, six months ago and I received a little training from uh, another uh, co-working in uh, United States mm -hmm. by Teams. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, was it um, like a, a general training or just for you? Um, it's a Maybe a, a general training because it, it was like an introduce uh, something about the department. But after that, I received another assignation and my uh, profile changed. So uh, in the first uh, in the first time, mm -hmm. I'm, I was working with um, accounting payables. Mm -hmm. So talking mm -hmm. about a uh, register in the ERP, but then uh, I changed, well, the company changed me, uh, my profile life, and right now I'm applying the payment in the ERP. So I, I have to work with a um, bank platform and ERP, but uh, the, intro, the, the training, it was about uh, accounting payables, if not a lot about my current activities. Okay, I see, all right. So they, they changed your assignment. Yes. Assignment, yes. Okay, very good. All right, interesting. Okay. Um, anybody else has attended any training recently? 
to update yes, your teacher. IT skills? Yeah, who? Uh, we as a teacher, we work with, uh, for, uh, for uh, electronic books, we work with learning management systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need to learn to how to use this platform, right? Uh, to use the books, uh, to use uh, the, the, the all of the things in the platform. Mm -hmm. All of the years they change the platform for uh, uh, to improve and obviously to protect the the, the product. And every year they are changing, making changes in the platform, and every year you need to go. To to training about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Okay, so uh, different types of um, uh, of digital books and ebooks, e right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, Suleyma, how about you? Have you attended any training to update your IT kill skills? Yes, Suleyma. Are you there, Suleyma? No? Okay. What about Dora Elizabeth? No teacher, in my case, I no have a, I no assistant, I no attend a, a training. You have an attendant in trainings. Okay. Okay. All right. Ever or lately? Lately. Oh, okay. When was the last time you attended a training? In for more of five or ten years. But, but in my case, I have a, a, a learned uh, myself. Oh, you, you, uh, yes, yes. You have what taught you yourself. Uh, yes. You're self taught. Ah, I see. Okay. What do you do if I can ask, Sora? What, what's your uh, job? I, I accountant. Oh, okay. Okay. All I right. See. In my case, I have a, I, I have to update in, in many, in many suites uh, be, because it's, the, it's necessary mm -hmm. for my job. I see, okay, I see. Interesting, okay, okay, very good. All right, guys, so we have an idea here than what ICT is talking about, right? So ICT, as you guys have already talked about, is though are those any of, the, of those um, technological devices or methods that we use in order to be able to communicate specifically with our job, right? Um, in a way that like facilitates the communication um, and is able to give us uh, more of access to information for our job, okay? Um, so that's why it's called information and communication technology because it helps us to communicate and it helps us to be able to make the information that we need available easily. Right. Okay. So, um, any questions about ICT at this moment? No question. No questions. No question. Only a comment. Okay. I think that ICT is it's common nowadays because the pandemic taught us to use. So people used to used to have it because yeah. it was necessary um after no sorry before yes. the pandemic before two or three years ago people maybe um didn't use because during and because they they don't need it like today because mm -hmm. now nowadays is 
it's common and it's necessary and mm -hmm. it's part of the 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 all kind of work yeah everyday life basically yeah you're right i absolutely agree with you fernando um before the pandemic um i think um many many of our jobs probably did not require so much um ict but now it's part of our job it's it's definitely a way that we have um, learned to make our jobs easier and um it has definitely changed the the way people work definitely um you know many jobs they never had thought about having people work from home but ever since the pandemic they had to change the way things uh, were done like for example i remember for me um before the pandemic i knew that online classes existed but for me it was like i i actually i had taken online classes i used a platform but mm -hmm. i personally would not i, yeah. I didn't feel that i could do online classes mm -hmm. you know i i i, I I, I didn't feel prepared. And then the pandemic happened and we were forced to find a different way of giving the classes. And we had to learn to, to use, um, you know, for example, Zoom, right? Or, or um, uh, Google Classrooms or uh, the team, the Microsoft Teams, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, and now, you know, like online classes are the most common thing in the world. You know, everybody's taking online classes. But yes, I, you're absolutely right. That was, you know, that was definitely something that happened after the pandemic. And I think it's a good thing. I think if you think about it, that's probably one of the good things that, or maybe the only good thing that happened uh, with the pandemic is that it opened up different ways of doing things and different opportunities for many people. Yeah. So that's something positive. The, the, the best thing the, the pandemic bring out is work from home. Is what? Work from home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah. Uh, many people now can spend more time with their family because they can work from home, you know? So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I, for me, it'd be very difficult for, t to go back and work completely, uh, you know, on, on site. Um, I'm so used to working from home that it's it's difficult for me to go back. I, I like working from home. I like it a lot because I, I don't have to worry about, for example, uh, traffic. <laughs> I That's one of the things that I always hated, traffic. So now I don't have to worry about traffic. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, well, actually, guys, what we're going to be doing next, we're going to be working in small groups, and we're going to be discussing certain um, vocabulary related to this ICT terms, okay? So I want you to look right now at these words here. So we have ICT systems. Feasibility study. Um, Geigo. Mm -hmm. And broadband. So these are all terms that are related mm -hmm. with ICT or information communication technology. What I want you to do right now, we're going to be working in pairs and you're going to be um, you're going to be investigating what these words mean. Okay, now when I say, <clears throat> excuse me, when I say that you're gonna be investigating, I mean that you're gonna be going online, you can use dictionaries, you can use 
um, any, like you're gonna use Google, whatever you need to be able to identify what it is. I don't want you to, I don't want you to uh, give me a definition that you see on the internet. I want you to be able to explain to me what it is. So I, I don't want you to copy directly because, you know, if that's the case, we'll have the same um this this the same information from everybody right so i don't want that i want you to be able to investigate and explain in your own words what these things are talking about does that make sense yes teacher yeah yes, yes. Teacher. okay so I'm going to put you in pairs so that you can help each other out, right? So you're going to be working together with a partner and trying to figure out what do these things mean? Like I said, in your own words, I don't want you to be uh, using, um, you know, directly uh, the, the definitions from a dictionary. I want you to be able to explain it. And if you can give an example, that's even better, okay? All right, so um, I will, okay, so I, I will actually write in the chat the words so that it's easy for you guys to remember. Okay, just, I'm, I'm, it just, I'm saying it in case you guys, um, do not have the book, the, the digital book. Okay, then at least you'll have it here. Okay, so those are the four things. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put you right now into uh, pairs. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing for a moment, and I'm going to put you into pairs. But I know that there's some people that are in two, on two devices, so I'm going to have to do this as best as I can. Okay. Wait, let's see. Okay, could you, can you guys uh, raise your virtual hand, the people that are on two different devices? Me, teacher. Okay, so David. Dave, David, David, David. Anybody else? I, I think there's like one or two other people. Nobody else? Me teacher, but I can leave one of them. Oh, okay. Uh, which one are you going to leave? Uh, Jose Rivas. Uh, so this one, the one that I... I the one, yeah, the about. one you're talking on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, anybody else? So everybody else is just on one device, right? Okay, remember, if for whatever reason you're having problems in your breakout room, please let me know, uh, you know, touch that button so that I can come over, okay? And I will give you about 10 minutes to be able to figure out um, what the meaning of these words are. Like I said, try to do it in your own words and if possible, get uh, an example, you know, so that you can um, easily explain it to your classmates, okay? All right, any questions before we go to the breakout rooms? No, teacher. Teacher. Sure. No? Yeah? Okay, here we go then. Let's open the rooms.
I suppose to go to the room four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are in with one device, you're on your room four, and the other one, you're still here. I don't know. Um, Suleyma, are you there? Suleyma? Suleyma, are you there? No, Suleyma? Oh, there she is, okay. Uh, Roberto? Roberto Luis? Okay. Uh, 20, um, to 20, 24 December uh, at uh, to January 2. Uh, okay. Teacher. Hi, Ana Claudia. I was asking for help because I, I don't have any sound. I guess Fernando is, I don't know, maybe the, the connection is stuck. Mm. I don't know if you're going to add someone else or. Uh, Fernando, are you there? Fernando? Oh, uh, I just, no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something because Fernando, are you there? Okay, I'm going to add you to another group. Okay. You're gonna be, you're gonna be with the other Fernando. Okay. Okay. Um, or no, let let me do something instead. Let me move him over here. That way, I, I make sure that. Mariana, Let's see. Let's see if he comes in. Hello, Fernando. Hello, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Um, so you're gonna be with um Ana Claudia. We don't know what happened to the other Fernando. Um, maybe he's having audio problems or something like that. But um, you're going to be together with Ana Claudia, okay? Thank okay. You. All Thank right. You. You're welcome. Hi, Fernando. Hi, Fernando. Hey, good to see you, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. And in your community right now, I remember you were. Uh, so, on the hardware, software, and middleware component of such a system. I think that is so, that is also such as information that uh, that that we can find it or that, that we can get from the website so from the equipment and, and also the hardware. I don't know. So if uh, that is so so if you're a related information like like a for a workplace, so it's is the definition that you told me to. Okay, hello, teacher. Hello. We have a question. Mm -hmm. I was doing something here in my house, and I didn't listen what we have to do. It is only a, a, a speech time, or we have to do some activity. Uh, you have to investigate the meaning of the words. Uh, and um, you have to find like uh, in your own words, you have to explain what they mean. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you are right, Dora. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, any other questions that you got? That? No. No. <laughs> no. That's all. Yes. Okay. All right. And like I said, if you can provide examples that would be even better 
Okay, thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, there's a, a concept the ACT system actually study, Gigo? You were released. Uh, you were released. Garbage. So that's me. Yes. Yes. And garbage that, in the computer. Yes. 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 Garbage in. Garbage out. Yes. Yep. That's that's. Okay. Diego. And the last one was uh, was what? Broadband. It's broadband. It's something yep. like uh, the capability of the system and the data transmission, maybe. Yeah. Something to, like that. Yep. To flow the information. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So David, so, uh, we we pronounce it capability. Cap capability. Yes. Capability. capability. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay. Yeah, it's important. Okay, we almost almost done. We wow. No, about we, we are talking. We are Excellent. talking about. <laughs> And nice. we have now consulted the definitions. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. The broadband, I guess, that is like a river. Like, uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a wide river is a wide band. Yeah. A, yeah. A narrow river is a narrow band. Yes, yes. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just, it's like a transport. Is like uh, the method of the transportation of the data. Okay. Yes. The method. Yeah, but this is the method. But 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 what else? The velocity. Velocity. Mm, yeah, it could be the balloon. speed. Yeah. Uh, I I mean the the method because uh, it's the pen involves of, everything. The gateway that maybe that you have, nah. but in other words, service that you are contracting. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Method is everything. Okay, that's good. Okay, the last one. Garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, garbage in, garbage out. And the last one is and is a of a, a what do you say? Bit piece, the method of a management mm -hmm. or Information method, but, but method how do you say of it? transportation of the data. Ah, okay. Method of transportation. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. that you can uh, take a. Uh, or, or you can communicate with the other people and and, and, and everywhere. For me, this is a, a good example for the library. Okay. And the other one I found out is I wrote that. Um, is a high capacity transmission technique using a wide range of frequencies, which enables a large number of messages to be communicated simultaneously. An example could be a high-speed email. Okay. So that means we are ready, aren't we? I, I don't... Uh... I don't understand well a uh, giggle. Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, um, it, it is a few 
if the quality of the information of, of the data you put into a computer is low, then the quality of information that's produced will be low. It's a, a, a way to recycle the devices. Um, no. Teacher, uh, for example, in Gigo, is the information that that you that you put it to the computer, but information that can be statistics, for example. Sorry, could you repeat that question? Um, how do you pronounce this, Gigo? Gigo. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Gigo. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, if the if the quality of information of the data you put put it into a computer is low, then the quality of information produced will be low. But it can be an example. For example, if 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 the if you're working some statistics and you uh, you you enter bad information or what kind of information prefers about. Yeah, yeah, like uh, exactly. So basically, um, if you, if, if whatever information you put into the computer in, in, or um, data, data information, let's say that you're, um, you know, you put, uh, to give you an example, I'll give you a very simple example. Um, let's say you're using Excel. Okay, you're using Excel and you're using the form the mm -hmm. formulas for Excel. If you make a mistake and you put in wrong information mm -hmm. into an Excel um, database, then whatever the information that it gives you is not going to be, be good. It's going to be yeah, wrong. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be wrong because you put in wrong information. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, does that make sense for you, Francisco? Yeah. Right, for sure. I I understand that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Good. Sure. Yeah. And and about and about broadband, is it ancho de banda or something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are ready. Right, teacher. We're okay. ready, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna be bringing you back into the room. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. We have an idea because because if you give them a, some a quiz, some tests, uh, this, uh, they uh, share the information and it's, it, it was a uh, only to, to get some idea of how. Uh -huh. But what about what about with this year that you are uh, that you are present at your school? So how do you evaluate? Uh, do you think that maybe they uh, learn something or not? Uh, yes, this this, this uh, moment is. Uh, very uh, difficult because there are many things they don't understand in the past. <laughs> we need to start again. We need to, to give some foundations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Difficult. Yes. Okay, so we have some very interesting um, conversations going on. Okay, great. All right, so what we're going to do now is we already had the opportunity of working with our classmate and and coming up with the, the meaning and an example. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, now that everybody understands the concepts or at least has a, a better idea, we're going to see, we're going to try to polish those ideas and we're going to work with a different partner and we're going to share the information so you're going to say okay so what, what we investigated was this and we understood this did you understand the same thing 
Okay, so we're going to share the information and then we're going to come back and we're going to share with the class eh, to see if you if you did understand or not. Okay, so I'm going to make again groups, breakout rooms. Um, I'm going to cre create these rooms. Okay, um, let me just make sure I don't have the same people. David, you are in two devices again, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let me move you. Okay. Who else was in two different devices or everybody else is okay? This one device? Okay. All right, let's open the rooms then. Um, this time you're only gonna have five minutes because you're only you're only going to be comparing the ideas. You're not investigating anything. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> it, it, well, it, it was a long distance. <laughs> yeah, you know, my kid starts uh, college and I need to wake up very, very early. And I need to prepare the books, the notebooks, the food, and this. It's tired. I'm tired. <laughs> It's possible that uh, it's it's most hard to the to the uh, to the work to the work. <laughs> the thing is that when you are working from home, uh, maybe all the time uh, you don't have a, a specific a, a schedule to finish your work because you forget the hour. In my case, right. I finish uh, my. My schedule at 5.30 p.m. But uh, when I look in the watch, is around 6.30 or 7. So it's a little weird. <laughs> That's the problem. And I need to move to my bedroom again. <laughs> and you know, the, the vision are very shortly. <laughs> okay. so now I have a question. Tell me. You have, um, how old is your, is your son? Sorry? How old is your son? How old is your son? Oh, my son is 10 years old right now. Okay, okay, good. So your son goes to school, not to yes. college. Okay, okay. Because college is university. Oh, okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I was uh, looking for ICT system and um, I get this. Uh, this is a group of devices working together to process some information. And I think uh, it's like a ERP. Maybe uh, when you need to um, introduce some uh, financial information and the ERP try to uh, move the information to different models and at the end of the month, for example, you uh, export some reports or some uh, financial information, but- To make the face of the study. Yeah, for example, uh, when I read about this a few minutes ago, I uh, that came to my mind, uh, I well, I work in Claro. And mm. when we have maybe a new project in the sales department, and uh, for example, a client wants to 
to buy or, or to um yeah they want to 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 work with us or something like that uh -huh. and uh, they tell us um i want to uh, i forgot that word um contratar hi hire uh, to hire yeah. maybe um 50 megas internet for example and so mm -hmm. you have to or 10 a uh, 100 megas for example just for saying something and we are talking about internet for example and you have to make this analysis of feasibility because you have we have to be sure that we can offer that to the client so you or 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 the the specific area that 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 make that that part make this this analysis so at the end of all the the, the, the investigation and You can go to the break. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, guys. Um, all right. So I hope you guys had a chance to compare your answers. And um, in that case, what we're gonna do right now is we're not going to uh, check as a class yet because we ran out of time. It's already, our time is up. <laughs> and, um, but what we're gonna do <clears throat> is check uh, our attendance, okay? So we will check as a class the meaning of those words tomorrow okay so i will click quickly go over the attendance we have ana claudia yes a teacher okay uh david samuel present teacher okay dora elizabeth present uh, fernando ernesto fernando ernesto okay fernando marvin present Okay. Uh, give me a moment. Something happened here. Uh, okay, just give me a moment. Um Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle. Present teacher. Uh, Harvin Isaac. Present teacher. Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Osmin. Jose Osmin Rivas. Present, sorry. Okay, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel. Uh, Ramon Enrique. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Um, eh, Roxana Isabel. Is Ivet, sorry. Present. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Will, William L. Alexander. William Alexander. Suleyma Ivon. Suleyma Ivon. Mm, I'm pass so, okay. All right, guys. All right. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to be checking tomorrow our definitions. 
Um, and um, the only homework that I need you guys to work on is to make sure that you have access to the platform. Okay, so that's it. I just tomorrow I want you to confirm that you do have access. All right, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll just stay with Anna Claudia for our 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, yes. all right, so Three, take care, two. guys. Bye bye. All right, bye bye. Care, bye, -bye. Have a good bye. night. Bye. Bye. bye, tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. By the way, teacher, I have access. I already mm -hmm. verified. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Great. Excellent. Okay. All See right. You. See you. Take care. Uh, take care. Have a good night, Jose. Thank you. You as well. Bye, Ana Claudia. You. Bye. See you. Nice to see you. Hello, Fernando. Are you there, Fernando? Hmm. Not there, Fernando? I guess you will need to remove him. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay. All right, Ana Claudia, how are you? I'm doing well, and believe me, I'm very happy that you are our teacher again. <laughs> oh, I am happy too. I really yeah. am. Yeah. yeah, I know your experience and, and the way how you give us the class and all the interaction and how you correct us. That production is <laughs> doesn't forget. Don't forget it. <laughs> you remember right yeah the production yeah, yes because uh, i remember in in those days that i was in, in, in with you in the classes always i was like thinking no this that will go swallowed by this and maybe sound like this the other word personnel you know in my job mm, a lot of people they don't use the correct words and it's so sometimes it's sad to see that because we had to deal with customers directly mm -hmm. with the client also for the, the account. Mm -hmm. And some of my colleagues, they talk like thinking in Spanish. And it's so mm -hmm. painfully frustrating. And you just, and I always inviting them, hey, you just need to take class. I know it's not easy because two hours every day is not easy, but no. it works. It works yes. because since uh, I started with my classes, I can tell you, I uh, I have to call. I have to make outbound calls. And let's say I have in my pipeline 50-50 Spanish account and English account. On the past, I was afraid to call to an English uh, customer because I hadn't the vocabulary, the words, or maybe I my mind wasn't organized. You remember that I told you those days that I most of the time I grow the ideas that I heard for someone that speak well good English and those were my conversations nowadays I can tell you I'm not afraid I call them direct am I able to have a conversation with a customer and now we are we have in our pipeline also Canadian customers they, mm. they speak so beautiful they speak so different <laughs> than America and uh, it's a uh, I also been able to make my my sales with uh, English customers mm -hmm. uh, English native customer and for me is uh, I feel good and I feel glad that someone understand me and and tells me you know I, I understand it very well uh, or some of them told me yeah I can I can understand you speak good English. You can make your, your way understand. So for me, that is all oh, I say it worth it all this time ago, two uh, hours a day, it worth it. So yeah. I'm very happy that you are with us because I know that you correct us a lot <laughs> in the pronunciation. And I do really appreciate that. I'm more than happy to, to help you. Yes, uh, I'm. I'm happy. I'm really happy. And uh, I remember I, I I used to tell you that when you when you exaggerate things, mm -hmm. it, they they do stick in your head. And you know, I gave you the uh, the um, the example of my my sixth grade teacher that he mm -hmm. he always um, 
helped us to remember the how to pronounce how to spell the word because right and he would go b e c a u s e and that has stick stuck with me ever since and see it has it's done the same with you with the production <laughs> yeah. and the oh, oh yes oh or understand uh, to use uh, the proper word for example i need to write quick notes in my accounts when i have an interaction with the customer or stuff mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. how to use the word referee ending in an ee that is referring to a third person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to um, better use the the structure of the sentence not to write long sentences as spanish do just uh, graded it in the way it is with the main idea mm -hmm. shortly mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and that is something that we find and helped me a lot mm, we are waiting for the client to come one of them comes if i'm not uh ground one comes from pakistan and the other one comes from u.s Mm. My the account that I work for is so open, open doors. So we have meetings one in a week, direct with the with the client. Uh, even though as as the, uh, being a, an account for a call center is not usual, so you have just the communication with your manager and then your manager communicate. No, we have communication also through. So through messenger with the client and they are coming in this next week i don't know if they are coming in the last week of february or march so it will be i'm going to face again the communing some of my uh, other colleagues from another accounts that they are communing they say that now the traffic is so terrible is different that before pandemic so a lot of vehicles mm -hmm. there are in every place there are traffic jams so mm -hmm. i will need yeah. to, to try it will be just one week but most of the time we are going to continue here at home because yeah. we are we are uh, giving good results and that is what they are looking for at the end that we sell yeah. and we stick to the security policies yeah. they also gave us um a dash cam the dash cam is not on uh, during the eight hours of, of the shift no it's just detecting if i have a cell phone or if i'm eating stuff like that and it's showing like an alert takes like a kind of screenshot or picture and that would be sent direct to the security team and the blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> but the good thing mm -hmm. is that it's not something that is not a uh, real time dash cam and that's good because i'm free to move to do whatever i want the the third thing they don't the, the this the, this dash cam detects is if someone different than me is beside me because of the security of the right. data of course. Uh, of course so i must be always with Alone. my door closed and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my dog is sometimes coming on it but he <laughs> but your dog won't say anything <laughs> <laughs> he won't exactly. leak any information <laughs> exactly exactly so but man, uh, i've seen some pictures with my dog that i because the dash cam detects movement you know uh -huh. um, the dash cam just detects the movement and a different um silhouette silhouette is correct to say that word silhouette no figura so, mejora different figure shadow, let's say uh -huh. Uh -huh okay mm -hmm. and could be the the system may think that it's a child or someone else uh -huh. that, that is a dog because the dash cam just uh detects the movement of someone uh -huh. different than me yeah. uh, okay interesting wow that's but i had never heard of that to be honest <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's interesting yeah. A dash cam. And teacher, I'm so happy for you because you are living in Turkey. Yeah, my God. Yeah. Can you believe it? Oh yeah. my God. Yes, I've seen that you've been in Canada. No, but before last year, I guess you were in, in, in Turkey too. I right? was in Turkey. Yes, yes. I came. To I guess Turkey. you were looking at the apartment or something like that where. 
<laughs> yes, actually, to be honest, it was, uh, it was actually, I knew I wanted to come to Turkey, but it, I wasn't sure what city I wanted to go to. Um, so last year when I came, I had the opportunity of coming to many different cities in Turkey and definitely Istanbul won my heart. Oh, I just mm -hmm. can't. Yeah. I think the beauty of buildings. Oh, uh, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love what I love about um, Istanbul. It's, it's like a mix of the old and the new um, because it, there are buildings that are so old, like super, super old. There are ruins. There's even ruins in, um, in Istanbul. Um, there are, because it was the, it was the, um, the capital of three empires. Oh, really? Yeah. So they they had the Roman Empire had their capital here in oh, Istanbul. Yeah. Then the Byzantine mm -hmm. Empire and then the Ottoman Empire. So that is the most known for them. The, the, we relate, always relate the, the Istanbul with the Ottoman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But do you remember Constantinople? Mm -hmm. Now so, that you mean. Yeah, Constantinople is the same as Istanbul. Ah, I yes. didn't know that. Yes, yes, Constantinople um, was the it was the way they knew um, the city when when the Romans and the Byzantines were here, and then um, the Ottomans conquer, conquered the city, okay. and they changed the name to wow. Istanbul. So Istanbul, that's right. Mm -hmm. But so, I know because I see that you write. So you you write and, and understand and speak the the what they the Turkish. Turkish. I'm learning okay. Turkish. I'm learning. My God, but you had to change the the keys on your cell phones. <laughs> oh yes, yes, that too. <laughs> I, yeah, I I have um I have installed uh, the 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 Turkish keyboard. Is it so difficult to speak Turkish? Mm, it's different. I know you speak French and, and French and English, so it will be difficult like French. It's different. Turkish is so different from any language that you know. It's it's a different grammar. It's and sounds I just sounds yes mm -hmm. um but they have the the good thing is that they have the latin um the the latin um the alphabet. mother language no no the latin alphabet but uh, it's modified it's a modified latin because they have sounds like that don't exist in other you know so uh, so they do dead languages no, 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 no. It's just, for example, like there are instead of five vowels, they have eight, eight vowels. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah, eight vowels. Um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, eight vowels in 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 Turkish, and they they have the the s the, um sedia, mm -hmm. you know the s like the. Uh, or the C, Sadia, like, like, you know, when, like, for example, when you spell Barça, uh -huh. you yeah. know, that, that C, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they have the Sadia, um, so, and like this, in French, because in French they use it, mm -hmm, exactly, also in French, mm -hmm. and in, they also, the letter C, they pronounce it similar to the J, so it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, so if, um, yeah, so, so you you pronounce it very different, and sometimes that it makes it a little difficult for me because I have to remember. Yeah, and yeah, there there are certain letters that are uh, different, but you know, I'm trying. <laughs> so you, what I admire the most is that you accomplish your dream. You <laughs> want it, you work for it, and now you're living <laughs> your dream. <laughs> Yeah. Let me ask you, I don't know if this, I don't want to sound so uh, inappropriate, but are you, were, were you living 
you know, the country, the, the, this country, Salvador, alone, are you living alone or, or rooming with a, a family? Are you a room, do you have a roommate? Um, actually, I, um, when I decided to come to, to Istanbul, obviously I was, I, I was alone. I, I, I didn't have any family. I didn't have friends. Yeah. I've made, I've made friends. Uh, when oh. I just, I decided to come, I decided to, you know, and I've made friends and the friends of friends. And, yeah. um, now I'm staying with a friend. So, uh -huh. uh, yeah. I'm, uh, so I have a roommate right now. Yeah, you are opening your your way. It's like being a dean. Mm -hmm. yeah. My mm -hmm. goodness, yeah. you're so brave. Let me. I am Mario because it's not so easy to move. Just to move to another country. Mm -hmm. Maybe we speak the same language, but they have different custom, different food. You know, last year I had the opportunity to to visit P Peru. And mm. oh, yeah, yes, I saw pictures. Yeah, 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 it was so beautiful. But two of my uh, called uh, two of the partner of the that tour, they got sick because mm. they weren't um the first time they ate this uh it's not the lamb, it's the um ah, milk. Um, I say me olvide, no me. Es animal. Llamas. Llama? Uh -huh. Llamas, llamas. Lama says, is that the way how to say it in English? Lamas. Okay. We ate la lambs, llamas. Llamas. Mm -hmm. um, for me, delicious, uh, delicious uh, meal. But maybe the way how they asked the, 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 to cook it, because always I got an advice from someone when you are outside, you always need to, if you are going to taste something new, ask them to be cooked well cook but they requested or they asked for the meal in the middle term something like that mm -hmm. and that is they got six two of them they the last day of the tour they were uh, visiting the, the hospital but mm -hmm. it was a good experience and I just can imagine okay moving myself with all my things along <laughs> even though we speak Spanish it's the same America but you are, my God, moving thousands of kilometers. <laughs> Congratulations. To another con a continent. Yeah. yeah, culture, language, food, and everything. everything. Yeah. But yeah. I know I know your, uh, your face, it's in God. So I know God is always opening uh, New your doors. Words. New doors, New doors. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that when... when when something is is right for you, it you know you just feel it, and for some reason Turkey just felt mm -hmm. right for me. It yeah. was like, and yeah, I've 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 fought really hard to be here. Mm -hmm. It's it's um it's been a dream that mm -hmm. and and um, I I yeah I I finally made it. So you will be interested to 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 make like a, some of those studies, you know, that they find out if one of your uh, maybe relatives in the past, they were coming from this culture. So it's, there must be something you feel belonging <laughs> to that country. You know what? I, I've, I've thought about that, to be honest. <laughs> it's not I, only do you want to be there because the sub operas, all the Turkish sub operas, we are... You know what? It's funny. The first time because I've I've been like I've investigated Turkey so much that the first time that I was here, um, I remember the first day that I came, I went out. Um, I I went out walking, and I didn't get lost. I knew exactly where I was going, and um, oh, it's yeah. like you belong there. Yes, I do. I do. I I, I feel. I, I I told my friend when we were we were on the plane mm -hmm. and we were looking at everything. I said, you know, I feel like I'm coming home. Mm -hmm. it you was, felt calm. Yes, mm -hmm. it was. Oh, it was the best. 
My goodness. Wow. Congratulations. Oh, my God. <laughs> I will be looking forward for all your uh, pictures that you post. Yes, I haven't posted the pictures yet. Um, many people still don't know that I'm here. Um, but um, but yeah, I uh, because I, I arrived um, Monday night. Oh, my goodness. You just had like two days. Mm. yeah well yeah two days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and the jet lag jet lag is i guess is because yeah really but can... you know what it wasn't so bad of a jet lag because um i've been doing stops along the way mm -hmm. and my last stop was london mm -hmm. <clears throat> which is only three hours difference mm -hmm. so it, and i've been so tired mm -hmm. that um I I haven't really felt the difference, you know. Mm -hmm. But the first day, the first day I, I I came, I came at night, and I slept ooh, the whole night, and I woke up until like midday. I was so tired that it was night at, at, on this side of the world. So well, you will get used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations on that. Thank okay. you, thank you. <laughs> so you know, maybe one day you'll have, you'll you'll find your your place, your 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 symbol in some other place in the world, maybe I in Peru. But, but I'm curious. Maybe in the future, I will plan to go there and visit you. <laughs> Of course. I will let you know that that would be a plan. That would yeah, be a plan. <laughs> of course. You're more Thank than you very welcome. much, teacher. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been a pleasure. So, Ana Claudia, anything that you need, any, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm here. You want to write in the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a question. I'll be more I than happy. Know I count on you. Don't mm -hmm. worry. I know that. I <laughs> count on you. <laughs> okay. Take care. Thank you then. very much, teacher. Right. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.